Here we have a new 2024 Honda Odyssey. This one comes in the elite trim level, so top of the line in crystal black pearl. And then we have black leather interior. For the powertrain, we get a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. That gets us 280 horsepower. So as we come around the front end here, we do get LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights and LED fog lights. The lights don't flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking them up. But love that look there. I feel like this is one of the last vehicles to get a, a redesign from Honda. We've seen this for a minute. There we have 19 inch alloy wheels. Get passive keyless entry on the front. Sorry about the wind noise. Here we have our memory seat functions, power door lock controls, power mirror controls. We also have power folding mirrors and our blind spot monitors for those are gonna be right there in the door panel. And then we have one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors. Bottle holders there, pretty good space, kind of like in the Honda Pilot. I just like how Honda does their door panels. Now over here, we have the controls for the rear sliding doors, power lift gate, traction control, etc. For the parking brake, you actually press it in to engage and then hit the brake, pull up to disengage. And then we have an automatic brake hold there. Release for our hood right here. Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel right there. That's that latch. And then to the driver's seat, this is actually a 12-way power seat, which includes that four-way power lumbar support. So very adjustable there. Now, before we check out the rear leg room, as I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3", I want to give a big shout out to Daryl Walter of Honda for allowing me to review this Odyssey today. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. But y'all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look at all of the features you get with this Odyssey Elite. 51345 is the sticker price. Let's go ahead and hop in here. And just like the pilot I just reviewed, 70% US or Canadian parts content. That's crazy. Now the space behind here is fantastic. You can also recline this seat quite a bit, quite a bit back, excuse me. So that's why I'm sitting back this far. Very relaxing, very comfortable. But seat back pockets, I love this. We have a seat back top pocket and then a normal bottom one that's huge on both sides. So that's fantastic. The rear entertainment system is right here. So we can control all of that with a remote. Ooh, excuse me. And then we have bottle holders back here. HDMI port, two USB-A ports there. And then bottle holders here in the middle. Pull this strap if it's down and you can get that seat to go up. Kind of hard to do with one hand. We can do that and then we can also pull it down or recline it like that. Now what's cool about this is if you pull up on this strap here and then pull the seat up, you can take this entire middle row out and then just have captain's chairs so that it's easier to get to the third row. But I love these because they're just, they're extremely practical having that removable middle seat. Just because if you need to have that eighth person for whatever reason, let's say nine times out of 10, you only need seven seats. But if you need that eighth seat at any time, you can just put it in there. And then I love having these rear blinds here. And I complain about my Pacifica all the time because I have a 22 Pacifica that doesn't have this and it's very annoying. This should be standard on all family vehicles, I think. And then if you want to get to the back for whatever reason, all you have to do is pull here and that'll slide up and you can get to the third row easier. And then look, we even have the seat back pocket here as well. If you want to put headphones or something in there. And then when that middle seat is out, you can actually use this pull up here and then you can slide that to that side or that one to this side, whatever. So just a very configurable minivan here. Now, as we come around to the back end here, it's a dated design, but still looks good in my opinion. We'll take a quick look underneath the vehicle for those that are curious. And now let's go ahead and open the lift gate. So right here, I love the storage space in here. Nice and deep pocket. Side pockets here, just tons of storage. Even a 12 volt back here. But yeah, this just is incredible. If you wanna fit like eight suitcases on top of one another, you can do that. And then a look at the back here, 
There's a U, there's an aux input you can run your headphones to, a USB-A input on that side. And then again with the blinds, just great. Being able to have those there. So if you're going on a long road trip, the kids will stay asleep and won't be woken up by the sun. It's also like a secondary cool way to have privacy too. Now this rear passenger side, if you ever want to just fold the seat flat, just pull up here and then there you have it. It's very easy to do. And then to get it back, you will have to pull that latch and then lift it. Again, it's a lot easier with both hands, but it can be done with one. And then to our front passenger seat here, eight way with four way power lumbar support. And then we have a lockable glove compartment. Owner's manual is there. I like the elite trim here. That looks very nice. But as we come back around to the front, we're just gonna pop the hood. And it's mostly covered up, but there's that 3.5 liter V6. Now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So lovely leather wrapped steering wheel here. Like the horn sound. We do have a heated steering wheel here and we can toggle that there. To the screen here, we do have the navigation set up. So you can click in there, find your destination or set up destination. It's pretty easy to use. And then we do have the rear entertainment. You can set all that up as well. Now for audio, we get AM, FM, XM. We also get Bluetooth. And then we have wired CarPlay, wired Android Auto compatibility. Settings in here, system settings, date, time, language, system units, all that's in there. I'm just gonna scroll through everything else. And then volume knob is here. You can click there to turn the audio off. So a nice, easy, system to use vehicle settings are in here you can go through that and then all of your apps are right in there you also get a hotspot as well i forgot to mention that for wi-fi if you have an xbox or something hooked up you can still stream through that device on that rear entertainment system down here we have the dual zone automatic climate controls we can pull up the rear climate by hitting that button and then you'll have that on the screen there and you can adjust the fan speed and use the buttons as you would normally turn the whole system on or off front climate temperature setting so love how it's set up here we do get three stage heated and cooled seats as well for the driver front passenger and then i'm going to pull up the backup camera so nice picture there guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel but for the shifter, press P for park, R for reverse, N for neutral, D for drive. And then you can also go into that sport mode as well. Now here we have the econ mode, the snow mode, the auto stop toggle, and the hazards. And then our Blu-ray player is right there. We have a 115 volt two prong plug-in. And then we do have a 12 volt and a USB-A charge port there. Bottle holders are here. We do get a wireless charging pad. And then our center stack, or center console cubby space, excuse me, has all of these headphones I was talking about earlier. You already have two sets that come with the system. Then another USB-A and an aux input there. Now, of course we have a power sunroof with this being the elite trim. So we can push that sunshade back and one touch open the, the roof. And I like that it goes all the way back for the most part. Then we can one touch close it back. Sunglasses holder doubles as a rear view mirror for the interior. There's a view of the back from up here. Looks like a bunch of Star Wars droids with these headrests. And we do have a universal garage door transmitter in that rear view mirror there. Now back to the steering wheel. Blinkers are here. Low beam auto, fog lights and then high beams and a flash there. And then for the windshield wipers, we do have automatic wipers. So one time off, auto, low, high, then we can adjust the auto sensitivity there. And then our rear wiper is here. Then we can pull there or there for that rear wiper fluid, 
pull up here for the front wiper fluid. Paddle shifters are behind the steering wheel. Volume controls here. We can go through radio station presets or track list here. And then we can use this to go through our gauge cluster, these arrows here, as well as that enter key. So we can go through all of those options. You can also change your units from here, which I'm not used to seeing on the Hondas. With this being top of the line, having that digital gauge cluster in the middle, that makes sense. So it's very easy to change as opposed to having to go all the way through that screen. But I'll get back to that. Home buttons here to get there. Bluetooth buttons, voice recognition. And then we have our Honda sensing here. So adaptive cruise, lane centering, gap adjust for all of that there. You can adjust your speed here. Push button start. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. 